Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Coffee Talk. I am T-Double-D. Now, I have honestly little to no idea what this game is about specifically. From the description, I know that it's essentially, I think you're like a barista, and uh, you, you have to like make... I guess basically like coffee or whatever the hell uh, for any patrons that come in. Like you basically have to listen to their conversations and you have to make uh, something that's like based off of what they're talking about. So like I'm guessing that if they're like talking about like a bad breakup, then like you make like a coffee with like a heartbreak sign on it or something like that. The reason why I got this is it was it was in my email for from humble bundle right it's not that they were telling me to play this and i'll be sponsored by them or whatever but it was like a recommended game for whatever reason uh, i don't know why exactly it was recommended to me but um i saw it i looked at it for a little bit and i thought you know what let's play this let's record this and let's get my face in it too i don't know why i decided the face cam just because anyways um but yeah, I don't know what to expect from this game. I It looked pretty interesting. Um, the character models look pretty cool as well. Um, the girl that they have on the front cover, I think her name is like Emira. Or something. Well, I, 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 I might be getting her name completely incorrect. What was her? Uh, Freya. Freya. I think that's, that's, that's the girl in the front uh, cover of um, the email that I saw anyway. Sorry, I had to alt tab real quick real quick so um yeah it's freya um but yeah not sure what to expect but let's just dive on in what is your name oh, i'll just call myself t not tree tree fuck it i'll call myself tree fuck it is tree correct i mean technically no but we'll go with tree anyways it doesn't matter okay so welcome tree change barista let's see there are mods for this this has mods? Why does this have mods? What could possibly be like mods about this? Like why? Okay, there's a lot of options here, but I'm guessing the one we should really be going for is play game. I'm not sure if this is like, oh, we got an achievement. Welcome to Coffee Talk. Okay. Seattle 2020. Oh, it's a reading game. Okay. Seattle 2020, a city filled with dreams and madness. Okay time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history war between races hmm. oh yeah so in so even though it's set in seattle i don't think they have like only humans here they have like elves and shit so yeah a time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be okay can i just hit enter yes i can okay and have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed but still it is a place and time where anything can happen. Okay, writing and game design by Muhammad Fami. I didn't get to see the rest. Okay, it is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. Okay, when the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. This is really slow. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. Yeah, seriously. Really good on those orcs for, you know, getting their tech company started. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever. Yeah, we don't really get to live as long as, like, orcs and other people do. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Art by Dio Mahesa and Hendry Rosley. Okay. Most of these stories are left untold. But some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They're told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. Hmm. Programming by Frederick Lawrence. Oh, I didn't even get to read the rest of that last name. Okay. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. Why are we open during the night? A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Hmm, okay. So far, so good. We're getting a lot of exposition here. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Oh, wow, that was that was a year ago. That was, that was basically a fucking year ago. Over a year ago. 
Ooh. Okay. Oh, hi! Welcome- Oh, it's you. Yeah, it is Freya! Yeah, that is Freya! Okay, okay, cool. Hey, Tree, how's the night so far? It's calm, as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half my ingredients today. Eh, that's a bummer. Hey, don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. She's nice. I like her. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry. Take your time. Okay. I'm a writer, not an editor. Okay. So I'm used to taping, taking things slow. Ah, writer's block again. You got that right. What are you writing now? Let's see. Do you remember my plan to... Oh. What? What's going on? What was that noise? Ah. Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. You want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. Okay. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Okay. Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Okay, so we... Okay. Uh, so triple shot espresso. Okay. Um, so we look at our phone? Tomodachi? Okay, brew pad. Shuffle ID. The evening whispers. Okay, that looks like New York Times right there. Um, guessing this is like music? Oh, okay, you can shut the music off. But I like the music, so no. This is very, very, very cozy. Just like I thought it'd be. Um, oh, okay. So... Freya. Birthday is on January 29th. She's a writer for The Evening Whispers. Uh, talks about mundane things, art, and life in general. Friends only, close friends only. Okay. Um... Alright, let's see. So I'm guessing brew pad. Okay, this is how we. So she wanted a triple shot espresso. So, espresso. Blacker than a moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. Okay. Oh! Oh, okay, so coffee. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's how you make espresso. So, coffee, coffee, and coffee. And we, we, we brew that. Serve it. That should be it. First brew, okay. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my customer tonight. Mmm, that aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. Okay. Hmm. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Okay, what is, what is this text box here? Oh, okay, that's the log for everything that was just said. Okay, that doesn't do anything. I have somebody here. Okay. Um, okay, that's the menu. Alright. I just need to figure out all these controls here, <laughs> where to click and everything. Okay. Hmm. Okay, figure out the menu controls. People outside. Okay. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers. GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also the biggest publisher, uh, biggest book publisher in the country. 
So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Oh no. <laughs> this is a lot of dots. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was a stupid thing to do. So, how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So, he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings. And get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Well, fuck. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh... <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero? Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well... It was so bad that, well, after reading it... She trashed it? I just decided to delete everything immediately, of course. So, zero. Uh, yes... I really need to finish it in at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. It sounds like a plan, if you can pull it off. I know, I know, you don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Okay, we have another customer. So it seems like the whole design thing that I was talking about was completely off. But again, what can you expect? I've never played the game before. Um, so, welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. Okay. Just here to meet my boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? Not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please. Let's see. So there's three people that we know. There's Freya. Let's see. Where's Georgie? And there's uh, Gala, or is that Gala? I have no, I have no idea. Brew pad. Just trying to look through all of these here. Um, dark chocolate. A warm and calming darkness. Okay. What do we do? What about... Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, so... No coffee. Let's see, that's green tea. Um, how about... Milk. Oh, we can't... Oh, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. No. Reset, 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 reset. Choco powder as the base. Let's add in some milk. And... We'll do some more milk. Let's see what we get. I already know what happens here. So, might as well just try something new and experiment. A chocolate latte. Hmm. 
Oh, you can do art here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, so I was right. Oh, shit. Okay. Um. Do I really want to mess around with this? No, we're, 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 we're like just starting out, so. It's a masterpiece. Okay, interesting. Uh, one cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. So warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? She has a boyfriend! Damn it! Yeah, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop. <laughs> because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop op only open at night? Definitely not. Yeah, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. But how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? Yeah, it's because Freya is like such a coffee fiend. She comes every single night and just keeps me in business. That's a secret. Tree here is damn rich. That's a secret. Oh, really? I'm rich? I'm rich in this game. Okay. She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Tree can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find her you can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Oh wait, what? Did I Why did she say thank you here? That doesn't make sense. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Oh, that's the boyfriend. There's the boy- Oh, he looks like a dickhead. <laughs> he looks like a douche. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of an order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on top. Okay, so we should have practiced with the latte art before. So, something bitter to keep him awake. So, coffee, of course. What do you do with coffee? Um, with milk. Um, and more bitter. Wait, why is... Didn't I just like brew something that wasn't on the list? Why didn't it come onto the list after I brewed it? Doesn't that count? That that doesn't count as me brewing it? Why? That doesn't make sense. I did something different. It should be on the list, shouldn't it? Or have they not like done every single combination? Whatever, okay. Um, coffee, milk, coffee, we'll brew that. And draw some latte art on top. Hmm. Alright, so latte art. Um, what do we want?
Um, okay, so this rotates it. Okay. Um, pour milk. Etch. Um, hmm. How do we want to do this? Um, hmm. So how does the etch thing work? Wait, so we pour milk first? Okay, so you pour the milk first. I think that's enough. And then I'm guessing then you etch it? No? How does that even work? does this work? I'm guessing we can't really do that yet. Reset. Hmm. Um. Okay. Let's not stay stuck on this for too long now. Um. Hmm. Okay, that's not gonna work. I'm trying to, like, do, like, an... Wait, what? How does this work? Okay. All right, hang on. Um, I have not done this before, like ever, so I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Um, let's, let's get milk all over that. what happens if I etch. Okay, so etching here. Okay, hang on. Um, hmm. Okay, hang on. Okay, so that does nothing. Let me see if I can... Okay, so that, that pours a little bit too much. I don't know what I'm doing! <laughs> what is this? Um, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Okay, um... Okay, so if I just tap... Okay... Okay... Um, okay, hang on. Let's do this... Uh, okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That just looks wrong. Okay, um... Okay, so holding down the button makes more milk come out, okay? Um... Do we just want to completely fill this with milk? 
Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna fill this up with milk completely. Um, okay. Fuck it. You know what? I spent so much time with this and I haven't and I have like nothing to show for it. Yeah, there we go. Um I have absolutely no artistic potential whatsoever. Either that or this is just like actually like general genuinely like too difficult for me. Uh let's try that. <laughs> what the fuck did I do? Here's your order. <laughs> is this what you call latte art? Bitch, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing! That's cute. Perfect. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the, there's the rain. It's okay. Wow, okay, that's... Okay, Bailey's? Okay, why? I'm just gonna call you Bailey. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Bailey. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name's Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet the both of you, I'm Tree. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. Oh, of course you are. I've done some caricatures and infographics or whatever the fuck. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> oh, come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customer this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. Just punch them in the face, right? That's because you're good with your fist! <laughs> Called it! Not as good as your coffee making skill, though. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. What are you, where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, she's gone. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always happy. Was always a happy-go-lucky person. As interesting this conversation is, oh, Lua, and she has a pic of herself in a bikini. Interesting. Uh, that is French that I don't know how to read. Um, okay. Of course, yeah. Uh. Freelance designer and number one pumpkin spice fan. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Heavy judgment. Judge, judge, judge. Okay. Um, Alright. Nothing really to do here. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? 
Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining... Hmm, thought I heard something. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. <laughs> and lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should ask Tree here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fist to take care of. I do have my own methods, but it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one good lesson to learn from the day. Is... That looks like... What is her picture there? What is that? It's like I'm looking at it upside down. Oh, it's either a heart, a butt, or a coochie. I can't tell what I'm looking at. Your parents? Yes. Well, parents can be butts sometimes, so yeah, that's actually fitting. So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. This isn't very descriptive. They won't give us a chance at all. Anyone but an elf. Oh, that's racist. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. And about how even if I outlive you. What? Nothing. About how, if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf? That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus? Oh, she's a succubus! Okay, that makes sense. That's exactly what they said. So this is it, then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. Jeez. We can just continue like this. This is kind of awkward because I'm just like standing there like fucking T-posed like, okay, you guys are having like this argument in front of me. <laughs> like, what do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding a relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about the permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. Really? Is that how that works? Elves are immortal unless they decide to leave their family? That's how that works? I could have sworn that's not how that works. I thought they just had it. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for the both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait. Okay, well now I kind of feel bad for him. I just called him a douchebag earlier. Now he's having girlfriend problems. I'm, mm, I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's all right. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? 
Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. Okay. So, how does one green tea latte? So, it's green tea, milk, and milk. Okay. Brew. Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Uh, uh, no. Why are you asking? Um, um, me? No. Do you have someone you love? Uh, no. I love this coffee shop, but I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. Yeah, I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. Yes, the fuck you can. You can if you try hard enough. See, I see Bailey agrees with me. At least that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an internal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now. Probably drink myself under, uh, and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while till sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. Hmm. Oh, there's Freya. <laughs> I'm guessing she couldn't get anything done. <laughs> you were listening from the corner. Yeah. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Yeah, me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. Hmm. Okay. Is that like the end of like the first chapter? Marrakech, fresh and healthy drink from Morocco. Pretty sure I mispronounced that. Marrakech? Marrakech? I don't know. I wonder if there's like a way to like get a game over in this. I don't think so. It doesn't seem like you should. Okay, so what have we got here? The Evening Whispers. Uh, let's see. A zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Uh, 
Hmm. Okay. Uh, Seattle groceries distribution problems harm local restaurants. Fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. Hmm. All right. Let's uh, let's start the day. <clears throat> Who have we got here? Oh, it's Freya. Good evening. Good gracious. What is wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry, but I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay, just tell me. What are you going to write about? This coffee shop! Um... What? I'm gonna write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Uh, are you for real? Yes! What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. That's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know? Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knife Walker, uh, Knife Walker novel versus movie level loosely based. Hmm. The old one? Of course, I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That's already very different, you know. You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. <laughs> Get fucked. Get fucked. Why would you say that? Why would you say anything? Like, don't... Like, why? What? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyways, I'm really excited to see who's gonna come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. Oh, it's a cop! Oh, it's Georgie! Or is it Horgy? I don't know, I'm calling I'm calling him Georgie. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Tree, no need to be that formal with me. Ah, we're both on duty here. Hence the formalities. You're as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight, so I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea. I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. I got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks to your... Tama... How do you say that? Thanks to your Tamadacho profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Okay, so, sweet, healthy coffee. Oh, I see. I guess if if I max this out, then I get access to whatever's in friends only and close friends only. Okay, I think I get it. Um, George. Oh, so we don't know that he's lactose intolerant. Okay. Um, hmm. Cup of sweet, healthy coffee. Don't use milk. Oh, we have more ingredients. I didn't see that here before. Hang on. Oh, okay. Okay. I, yeah, I didn't notice those two there. Okay, so we have coffee. Um, sweet, healthy coffee. Um, honey. And... 
and I guess more honey. And now we brew. Honey coffee. Okay, we'll see. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Thank you. Okay. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with service like you gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? You still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. Okay, so... Uh... Triple shot of espresso, right? Alright, serve it. A starless night sky for the green haired fairy. I'm not even I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. This is perfect. So, how's everything going at the paper, Miss Freya? He looks like he has to, like, take a shit. I don't know, man. He lo Or, like, he looks like he's, like... He or, or, like, he just finished farting, and he's, like, really embarrassed about it. Like, I don't know. It's really weird. As usual, awful. She's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal? A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously. Care to share the details properly? You tell him. Uh, she's secretly using her work hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. She does. Gee, thanks. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least, not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes this thing up, though. Thank you for the reminder. So, yeah, as Tree said... My editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. But my novel is going to be published by our parent company anyway. So technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out, though. Wait. Is stealing time a crime? Technically, I might have to arrest you. <laughs> it's actually kind of good. Hey, you do it all the time, too. Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they may take... Sometimes they might take longer than they're meant to, but still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. <laughs> What the fuck, man? Who the fuck says that? Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> Just don't mention that you like to do other things doing work hours. I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you do fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're gonna write? I have, actually. Oh, good. What, what will it be about? What it will be about? It should be what will it be about. A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. Uh, you're letting her do that? There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write any. Please don't write about any shady looking police officers who like to take breaks more than they should inside the coffee shop near their post. I will definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. Was that a compliment or are you making fun of me, huh? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? Tree is probably worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. 
<laughs> Come on, it's not like I'll be using any real names. And I'll dramatize most things I've heard, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard will only be and it's their own the blah. The stories I've heard will only be the inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? No. Come on! Nope. Nope, no, 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 no. You helped me once with one of the stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me other interesting tips. I helped you more than once, actually. What, really? Now it's my turn to say, come on! Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The one who's always playing the guitar, always got a rose with him. Oh yeah, that guy. Yes, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least he gave him closure. He never complained that you used the story for the paper? I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More, more income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rose has become kind of a prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me! Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is. But she has bright green hair. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> I was so excited to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Ugh. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? Uh, because I spent a lot of my time here, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the, sh the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional, in fictional form countless times before, but it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her co-workers or clients, helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to, coffee to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Hmm, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's come. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share any in anything interesting you fear with me. Let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay then, see you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. <laughs> he seems cool, but he's like a little bit of a dick, honestly. I wonder if we can romance in this game. Can't really see yourself, though. Maybe this isn't really about romance, it's about like hearing other people's story, not really having one of your own. Because think about it, you're a barista, and in the game they say that you're like, you know, not poor, but not wealthy, you know, you're, you're like, you're like above average, I guess. So, I don't know. You're already established, but you're listening to other people establish themselves. Anyways, that's enough of that. I think I need to get back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing. 
And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Ooh, you're the best tree. You're welcome. Okay, off to the world I off to the world of imagination I go. I cannot read. Go on. Oh, I was gonna check my phone, but I guess not. Ooh, we get oh we 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 okay. We got level two for Freya. Oh we got oh we got two levels for Bailey, two levels for Georgie, and two levels for Freya. Okay, let's see. Um my self summary journalist and short story writer, you can read my surreal and weird short stories at the evening whispers. I idolize and inspire to be someone like uh Gail Nyman or Maruki Harukami. Let's see. Born and raised in Seattle, a lactose intolerant cop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Alright. Uh, freelance designer, museum and art gallery frequenter, art school graduate, will draw and design for food and shelter. Jesus Christ. That's depressing. Oh, yeah, let's see what's in here. Oh! Freya Fatima. So her last name is Fatima. Okay. And if a double-decker bus crashes into us, to die by your side is such a heavenly way to die. And if a ten-ton truck kills the both of us, to die by your side, well, the pleasure, the pleasure, the privilege is mine. Uh... I think my timer is actually about to go. I don't want to read the rest of it just yet. Hmm, that should do for the experiment. Ah, someone's coming. Oh God. Oh, so that's Mr. Gala, okay. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Hi, tree. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Who that? This is the place you recommended? You don't like it? It's fine. <laughs> I know it's not like the coffee shop you're used to in LA, but... Gala, it's fine. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. Okay. Coffee and ginger, you got it. Coffee, ginger, um, milk. Nah. Let's see, coffee, ginger. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do... Should we experiment here, or...? Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Coffee, ginger, and honey. Let's brew that. Oop. That's my timer. Damn it. Okay. Ginger honey coffee. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's see how this goes. Your order is ready, sir. Thank you. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. I'm not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever he's having. Okay, so we did... It was coffee... It was ginger, and we added honey. Ginger honey coffee, okay. 
uh, serve it. Here's your order. Hmm, good choice. All right, so before we go any further, that's gonna have to be where I end off in the video for today. Honestly, so far this game, I have absolutely enjoyed it. Honestly, it's it's interesting. It's like a cozy little game. I fucking love it. I absolutely love it. So before I go any further, let's save the game. Yes, please. Okay, resume. All right. And that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like in the video. Be sure to subscribe for more content. I don't know when I'm going to be able to upload. So, you know, if you subscribe and also hit the bell, you'll be informed as to when the next time I upload something is. Be sure to also follow me on all of my socials. Everything will be in the description down below. So be sure to check them out. And anyways, I'm T-Double-D sending you my double deuces. Later.